Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Samsung One UI 2.1 update for the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. And I wanna dive in, of course, and show you every single new and amazing feature you get with this update. Now remember, these are Galaxy S20 features coming to the Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus, further enhancing your software capabilities. Now real quick, the update is downloading right now, and as you can see, we have some brand new camera features. We have some features in relation to the gallery app. We have some Samsung keyboard enhancements, and of course, you can pause and read this uh, area if you want. And of course, we have the brand new quick share and the music share. Additionally, we have many more features. In this video, we're gonna dive in and show you each feature one by one so you can see what you're getting. So let's wait for this to download and update the phone and see what's happening. All right, so the update is ready to install, so let's tap on install. I'm gonna fast forward and we're gonna dive right into it, all right? There we go, that's the uh, update process. So as you can see, the phone has been now updated. I'm gonna tap on okay, let's dive in. All right, so we're good to go. Let's go to the settings real quick, verify that we have a brand new update. Let's go to the software uh, about phone over here, go to software information, and as you can see, we have now uh, One UI version 2.1 and Android 10. So let's dive in. The very first thing I want to talk about is very simple in the screen. When you pinch the screen and scroll over, you will notice that Bixby has now changed to Samsung Daily. Now, as far as functionality is concerned, it's all the same thing. However, it has a brand new name and a slightly more refined interface as you can see. Okay, so that's now Samsung Daily. And of course, it's right here. Look at that, it's nice and smooth, all right? Now let's pinch it up again and turn this off and move on. Now one amazing feature with this new update is if you go to your messages application, let's say you have a conversation with a specific person. Let's go inside here just as an example. So what you can do is now you can tap on this option here and actually customize your wallpaper. So if you tap on this one, all right, from here you can pick all these various options you can change the text contrast. You can go from white to black, as you can see. And also you can go to your gallery and pick any photo you want as a background image. So you can fully customize each individual conversation uh, on your text messaging application, as you can see. And I just wanna let you know, if I go to another conversation, it's not gonna apply there. You can also go there and manually change the wallpaper here as well. So that's all fantastic. I love new customization options. Another cool setting is when you go into the settings and when you go into your display right over here, the display menu is now gonna look different. We have the night mode right on the top and you have a graphical representation of the light and the dark mode so you can switch back and forth easily. And also, as I switch over to the dark mode, it actually transitioned to night mode, to dark mode. So when I go back to light mode, it transitions over so that transition animation is in fact brand new, which makes it look much better. All right, let's move on. And of course, I wanna talk about the new camera features really quickly, so let's launch the camera. Now, one thing I'll let you know, uh, when you want to take a burst shot, in the older version, you would have to press and hold. Now, if you press and hold on this one, it starts to actually record a video. When you let it go, it stops recording a video. So you can actually take a, a, a video shot right from here for the duration of what you want the video to be. But if you wanna take a burst shot, what you do is you press and pull down, and that is gonna start taking a burst shot as you can see, all right? So just be aware of that if you were into burst shot photos. The other thing is we have a brand new single take option, as you can see. Let's give it the permissions desired. So basically the single take takes a bunch of photos and videos when you press a single take button and gives you a collection of short clips photos, videos with various different effects applied. If you were to go over here, and if I were to go to my tips right over here, it shows you what the single take option is right here. So that's one brand new feature right over here. Now the other brand new feature is the pro video mode. We do have a pro phot photography mode right here, but now you can do pro video editing. So if I go into my pro video, you'll notice that I can control all the settings manually. I can adjust the ISO sensitivity manually, as you can see, in a nice, easy to use interface. I can adjust the uh, aperture and the shutter speed right over here. So that's the shutter speed, 
And this over here at the bottom, if I tap on this one, that's the aperture on the Samsung Galaxy Note devices. And of course, I can go to autofocus, manual focus, I can tap on this one. I can change the temperature, tint, contrast, saturation, and all that good stuff. And of course, I can change the white balance here, uh, all manually using the Pro Video Mode. And finally, if I go to more, I'll show you one more thing we have. Uh, we have the hyperlapse mode, but now what you can do is you can take amazing nighttime hyperlapse photos by tapping this button. Now that's the night hyperlapse, it's now on, so you just have to keep your phone steady while recording, maybe use a tripod, get, get you some great effects. So this, this button here is brand new, the night hyperlapse mode. Let's move on. Now we have also received an update to our keyboard. So when I launch the message application, I'm gonna just bring up the keyboard real quick. So if you tap on this button here, we now have a brand new search option that allows you to search through your AR emojis, uh, search through your GIFs and whatnot. If you tap on it, you do have to agree to the terms. So let me just say continue. So that gives you a search icon right here. You can search for emojis, stickers, and more on your phone. Uh, other thing we have is if I tap on this one, I also have a brand new translate feature. I can translate text right on my keyboard and I, I'm using Google for this, so all this is very accurate. So let's say, hi, how are you? Uh, hi, is this you? Okay, just, just an example. So it's from English to, we're now going to, let's just say, uh, let's just pick Bulgarian, okay? So it is going to actually transfer that, if I click on done, You'll see it, it, it puts the same thing in Bulgarian. So I put anything I want here, tap on done, and then it gives me a conversion on the top. I can do all these various languages as you can see. Let's see if there's anything else here that makes Italian, all right? So if I tap on done, it's gonna uh, convert this, what I write over here, to Italian so I can talk text with people of different languages. And then the final thing that we have with the keyboard, if I, again, if I tap this button, it expands the options. I have a Samsung Pass button right here. I can tap on the Samsung Pass, and that allows me to use Samsung Pass with the Samsung keyboard. You can play with this if you want. And finally, one more thing. If I tap over here, I can access the keyboard size right from here. So I can actually change the size of the keyboard as I please right from here. I can click on Done, and I get a larger keyboard. Again, that feature was not previously present, so now I can easily change the size of the keyboard right from here. I can even go like this, so I can use it with one hand. Fantastic, let's move on. And then what we have is we have a nice option here, so let's go down over here. If you pull this down, what you have now is you have the quick share option, and also you have the music share option. Now with the quick share option, let's just go inside to the settings real quick. Basically what this allows you to do is uh, transfer large files between other Samsung devices very quickly using local Wi-Fi. So basically you give your phone a name, all right, you can change the name of your phone to make it more uh, recognizable by other people. The other person also has to have, have the quick share option. You guys both enable it and then you can share files between each other uh, lightning fast of any size. So that's a nice and refined way of share large files between two Samsung smartphones. And then what we have is we have the music share option. If I were to go in here, I'll let you know this is a very nice feature if you are into music and your friends are into music as well. So let's say you have this uh, option enabled and you're connected to a Bluetooth speaker. You can go to your friend's phone, connect to the same Bluetooth speaker, and then both of you guys can send any music you want to that same Bluetooth player, Bluetooth speaker. So on one second, you can show your friend, here's the one I like, you play your music, and then your friend plays his music on his phone, and you can hear it through the Bluetooth uh, speakers because you're now sharing it together via this option, all right? So that's a brand new music share option. And finally, a minor enhancement is gonna go to your gallery application. So if I tap on gallery, uh, it's gonna have a little uh, more refined option right over here. It's gonna look cleaner, has a couple more other options. If I, go, if I were to go to the settings right over here, go to software update, uh, last update, what you'll see is if I go to the gallery option, uh, you can pause and read the brand new features. It's really hard to demonstrate these 
it has a nice overall enhancement. So that's basically most of the brand new features. Now I will let you know one thing, if you have a Samsung Galaxy S10, one thing you get with this brand new update is if you go and pull down the notifications panel, this power button, which is standard on Samsung Galaxy Note 10 devices, you will also get it on the S10, which you did not have before. It's a very nice and convenient way to turn off your phone right from here or restart the phone. So if you have a Galaxy S10, then you can have this brand new software button, the power button uh, on your S10 or S10 Plus or the S10e. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.